If the facial features of the characters you create with text-to-image services change from one image to the next, or if you want consistent characters in your AI-generated animations across different scenes, this tutorial is your solution. I promise to reveal secrets and techniques you won't find anywhere else. So, watch this tutorial carefully until the end. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Whether you want to create a Pixar style 3D animated film with AI, a full length movie, or a Hollywood style cinematic trailer, we must first build a character based on our story ideas and thoughts. In other words, we bring our ideas to life. Then, using the consistent character technique that I'll teach you in this tutorial, we can place this character in various situations and locations to tell our story. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to create consistent characters throughout a 3D animation, cartoon, anime, or even a realistic film. So, pay close attention until the end because there are many tricks and tips you need to learn. We'll visit the Leonardo AI website. Using the launch app option at the top right of the site, we'll create a user account and log in. Creating an account on Leonardo AI is completely free, and you'll receive 200 tokens to use the AI features. After using up these tokens, they'll recharge again for free after 8 hours. From the left menu, I'll click on image creation. We want to generate a character using Leonardo AI's text-to-image service. We need to type our idea as text. I've already written my idea and now I'll paste it into the text box. There are different models, styles, and modes for generating images, and Leonardo AI offers great flexibility in this area. You can create anything you imagine based on your preferences and needs. The only limitation is your imagination. Since we want the character's facial details to remain consistent across all scenes, it's best to use a model that generates portrait and close-up image as well. For this, from the preset drop-down, I'll select Portrait Perfect. From the preset style drop-down, I'll choose Portrait Close-Up. I'll set the contrast drop-down to high and the generate mode to quality. Although this option might not be available in the free plan, in which case fast can be selected instead. In the image dimension section, you can set an aspect ratio, square, vertical, or horizontal, and even adjust the size a bit further down. I've set it to 16 colon 9 in medium for the size. The number of images section lets you control how many images are generated at once. You need to manage this based on your token balance. I've set it to 2. Next, I'll open the advanced settings. Since I want the image to resemble 3D Pixar animations, I'll turn off the photo reel option. I'll enable the negative prompt section and type in items I don't want in the image, like tattoos, jewelry, and earrings in this case. From the model dropdown, based on my experience with generating images, I'll choose Albedo Base XL, which works really well. After setting these options, I'll click Generate. After a short time, the images are generated and their thumbnails appear. If you're not happy with these images or the result isn't satisfactory, you can click Generate again. After a short time, new images are generated, and I review them. I like one of these images and plan to use it to create an animation or film. To create a consistent character, I'll click on the small icon in the top left corner of the prompt box. A new drop-down menu will appear. I'll click on View More and select Character Reference. In the Select Image Input window, I'll click on the Your Generations tab and choose the image I want to use as the consistent character. Now Leonardo AI will use this image as a reference for generating future images. Now, I just need to define a new situation or location for this character in the text prompt. For variety, I'll change the preset style to Portrait Cinematic and click Generate. As you can see, with the previous steps I took, the new images are generated with the same facial features in a new location, in this case, a park.
I'll change the location again in the prompt with a new text description and click Generate. After a short time, new images with the same facial features are generated in a new location, in this case, a cafe. You can continue this process and place the character in new situations and locations. Using this method, your reference character remains consistent while appearing in new locations as you wish. This is the essence of consistent character. You can even change your style from portrait perfect and experiment with new styles for generating images. For this, I'll click on the preset dropdown and choose the cinematic Kino model. From the preset style dropdown, I'll select cinematic. I'll open the advanced settings and turn off the photo reel option. From the model dropdown, I'll set albedo base XL. I'll make some changes to the prompt and click generate. After a short time, the new images are generated and I review the thumbnails. Even though we changed the preset, the facial features of the character are still preserved, maintaining a consistent character even with the preset change. I'll change the prompt again, this time steering the location towards a driving and car theme. I'll click Generate. After a short time, new images are generated with the same facial features next to a BMW. I review the images, and the download button is available below each frame. Using this technique, we can generate images of characters in different situations and locations based on the story. Once all the images are ready, we move on to the next phase, animating them and turning these images into a movie or animation. For the animation and image to video process, I'll click on personal feed from the left menu. Here, all the images we've generated are listed. I'll click on one of the images we want to animate, then click on image to motion. The motion window opens. Using the Motion Strength option, you can determine the amount of movement applied to the image. The Private Mode option allows you to hide or show your generations to the community. I'll click Generate, and we can repeat this process multiple times. Finally, I'll click on Image Creation from the left menu. The videos created will be displayed here, and you can review them. Below each video frame, there's a button to download or delete the item. By repeating the process I showed you, you can generate a large number of videos for free using this AI and tell your story. A common challenge that many viewers mention in the comments on my YouTube channel is that they find short videos generated by AIs useless. And they ask me to recommend an AI that can create longer videos. In response, I have to say that currently, no major AI can generate long videos, say, more than 10 seconds. Only a few AIs that offer video generation services provide an option to extend video length. So, what's the solution? The solution is to break your story into smaller scenes and shots, create a video for each shot from your desired camera angle using AI, and then combine them all using an editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, apps like CapCut, or online editors like Canva. For example, I create a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro, I set the project name and location, then click on the Create button. Import the videos into it. I select the videos and drag and drop them into the project panel. Then create a timeline. To do this, I use the file menu to create a new sequence, choose its dimensions, and give it a name. I then select the videos and drag and drop them into the timeline. I arrange the videos in sequence on the timeline to create a longer video based on the story. Next, I adjust the video dimensions to match the sequence settings. After that, I go to the export section. Finally, I specify the location to save the video file. Set the output format to MP4, and within a few minutes, my long video is ready. If you'd like me to explain this process in detail, step by step, feel free to mention it in the comments. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends who might need it. This video is just a small drop in the ocean of tutorials that will be uploaded to this channel soon. Want to learn more? Don't hesitate.
Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Remember, artificial intelligence is the future, so embrace it now. See you in the next tutorial.